<laughs> Guess I'll be leaving. Take your pants off. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Take them off. <laughs> like, like Jace Senpai, this is so soon. <laughs> Here, right now? Although I guess Jace would, that Tom would be the Senpai. Alrighty, welcome back, any and everybody. This is Lynn and Otter here to do another episode of Socially Awkward. Last we left, <clears throat> last we left off, we were just at a, at, at a grocery store, and it, I think that's about it. A pretty chill episode last time. Oh, what the heck? Hey, for what? What happened? Do I remember this? Okay, I do remember that awkward jingle. The munchkin screamed with a jingle in her tone. And there you are, at the produce stand, staring down at all the colorful fruits displayed before you. The particular song started singing in your head as you raised a shiny red fruit along with a pen on the other hand. What song? Am I missing something? <laughs> I hope you're going to pay for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Since when did you turn bad? It's because you left me. To Darth John. Huh, huh. Guess I'll just need to set you back to the path of righteousness. He went over to the cold shells and picks up four styro packages of vegetables. Starting off, starting off with some baby carrots and corn. Uh, you, you eat babies? <laughs> you eat babies. You eat babies. What? Scared of getting good eyesight? He shakes the package close to your nose. <laughs> he, lets out, he lets out a chuckle before placing the infant sacrifice into your cart. Evil carrots. The baby corn is okay, but the carrots are a hit or miss. Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's sour. You can never tell just by smell. How about some peas? I remember you used to gobble them up every chance you got. Taste the penis. You snicker quietly to yourself over a meme on the internet, while Tom is wondering what you're laughing about. I'm guessing you want them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Put it in the cart. Yeah. Ah, this is nice. This is like we're in our old delivery job again. <laughs> I thought you hated it. At first. Since you dragged me around without telling me. I needed help. And besides... You weren't doing anything besides watching TV. And I did ask for your mom's permission. She was cool with it so long as I kept you alive. Oh, mother, how could you? But I really do like our delivery service. Oh, and why is that? Oh, what? What kind of, what kind of choice is this? How is this going to affect the story? Dang it, this is so innocuous. Whatever the choice is, I think we can all agree that the right answer is to turn my timer on, actually. Okay, there we go. Um, truth be told, it's probably the snacks. I mean, a delivery service, the money's good, but the snacks are pretty good. Please tell me if I somehow ruined my chances with Tom because of this. <laughs> he's actually he's actually a very frugal person. I enjoy the snacks we get from our deliver elderly customers. Uh, Miss Gigi was my favorite. She tips nastily crunch. I can't say, can't say the same for Miss Georgia. <laughs> because she tips raisins? Hey, those are good. It's nature's candy. Effin' raisins! Doesn't she know how kids work? <laughs> but I like raisins. Ah, uh, Tom. You were never a kid to begin with. 
I'll take that as a compliment. Tom is browsing around the cold shells, trying to decide between pork belly or ground pork. You, on the other hand, start thinking philosophical questions while staring at a pack of meat. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, like, how does that work? Is this very Bojack Horseman-esque? You ever wonder why only cats, dogs, and lizards are walking on two feet? Well, there you go, that answers my question how this universe works. <laughs> Isn't that how evolution works? Are you saying that we're gonna get furries in, in the near future? Not near future, I guess, but I mean, I guess you never really think about that. It is theoretically possible if, if evolution went that way, that, uh, you know, for whatever reason, being on, you know, being, huh. Interesting. Sure, but what made evolution decide to give us that ability? <laughs> no clue. Probably some guy on some website called Fur Affinity. What if cows started talking and walking on two feet? <laughs> then they're possessed. Possessed? Sure. Evolution takes a million years. Being possessed just takes a second. A possessed cow. As you contemplate the finer details between possession and, and evolution, Tom decides on the type of meat he's going to eat. Okay. So that answers that question. Chicken or pork? Uh, or maybe they hid underground to avoid us, and now they're plotting to take over the world! Bovine mole people. Rise of the mole cows! <laughs> maybe you should study cinematography. Who knows, you might get an Emmy for the wackiest director. Rise of the mole cows too! <laughs> Riding home, Tom takes a detour to a burger drive through It's a familiar situation that happens frequently during your time with Tom. Every day after school, Tom would fetch you with his bike for a grocery run for his neighbors. The pay was meager, but it was enough to buy a snack and a little bit left over to save. The first time Tom took you to a drive through though, you immediately started questioning, questioning the legalities of using drive through with a bike. Oh gee, that's true. Tom told, you that a bike, Tom told you that a bike is considered a vehicle, so it's no big deal. You heavily doubted his legal rate. You you heavily doubted his legal reading, especially when one of the cars started honking and he just flipped the bird at them. Oh jeez! The whole time you cried, shaked, and tried coaxing Tom to get out of the drive-thru. Hold on, sorry. But he was persistent and didn't let a and didn't let a large metal horse of death intimidate him from quick takeouts. This was a thing all throughout your school life with Tom. Uh, what just happened? Something just ripped. Even the part when his pants rips open. What? Uh, I heard a rip. Are the groceries okay? Tom shouts, concerned for the groceries inside both of your bags. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. What was it? I, I'll tell you when we're safe at home. Oh, okay. Uh, hope it's nothing serious. Nah, not at all. As Tom continues pedaling, the rip slowly stretches open as, Tom glute as Tom's glutes bounce and punch the seams like a wall. Holy cow. You gulp, trying to, not fo to focus on not staring at Tom's backside. But the rip is getting bigger, and you can see the butt cleavage swaying left and right as if being handled by your own hands. <laughs> Tuesday, 7.12 p.m. Guess I'll be leave. Take your pants off. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Take them off. <laughs> like, just, like, Jace Senpai, this is so soon. <laughs> Here, right now? Although I guess Jace would, uh, Tom would be the senpai. Huh? Take them off! <laughs> what are those hand animations? Hmm. Mm -hmm. The half-naked lion prowls on the sofa, seeking shelter with a throw pillow on his crouch as you fix his pants. You could have just told me. For no reason. Eh, this works better. 
That reminds me, actually. I do want to also get the... Uh... There we go. <laughs> I can't stop looking at that. What is that? <laughs> That's terrifying. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Um... <laughs> okay, anyway. The half naked lion pro. Oh, right. Okay, right. All this. <sighs> yeah, this works better. How else would I take them off? I don't know. Maybe ask politely. And why do you want to fix my pants? Nostalgia purposes. Oh, that's cute. Very anime esque. I love the art in this visual novel. It's so so cheery and fun. Ugh, I don't rip them that much. Do I? Oh, a whole lot. I remember it started during a grocery run for Miss Georgia. I pointed out you had a huge hole before we step before we step into the before we stepped into the grocery store. And then you started holding your pants like you needed to take a shit. Ugh. Do you have to add potty jokes in the story? Yes. So we went to the department store to buy some needle and thread, then hid in one of those dressing rooms to fix them up. Oh, I remember now. You didn't even have to be in the same room. Y yeah Well, I didn't want to be alone in the mall. Like, what if they started thinking I was messing with their merch? You could have just told them. And then get arrested and leave you pantsless? Uh, what kind of friend abandons his friend in the mall? How do you become the victim here? Imagine showing your ass to the whole world without knowing it. And by the way, Nice job on your work. Mom and Dad literally pointed out my ass still had two holes. <laughs> that actually is funny. Well, I was panicking. I kept thinking what would happen if someone sees me with a half-naked dude with his pants off. Ugh. Duh. Uh. M my... We'll put the meat in the fridge while I fix this properly. It's gonna take longer than a minute. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, these guys are so socially awkward. <sighs> oh, God. What kind of retort was that? I know I was being playful, but that came out wrong. Let's just focus on mending these. It may take a while, but an overcast straight should do the trick. Oh, he knows how to actually mend pants. That's, oh, that's pretty good. <sighs> oh, Half an hour later. <laughs> A hungry, pantless lion is sitting next to you, relaxing with his phone in hand and foot on the table. He hand feeds you your second hamburger as you pull the final seams together. Drum! Mm. Oh. You lift his pantaloons up in the air as you marvel at your handiwork. Now for the stretch test. With a tug on both sides, not a trace of the thread is seen. Ah, success! You toss them to Tom's face and he immediately shakes them off. Uh, hey, I still got hamburger sauce on my lips. Ah, you're just going to wash it away anyway. What's a little stain going to do? Try it out. I like them clean, regardless. <laughs> Thanks, though. He checks them for any other holes you might have missed. You're welcome. That should hold your a** in place. Like a bra. He used to be so shy when it came to adult stuff. Uh, the once shy, adorable cat has become an adorable adult. You're ready to touch inappropriate things. Alright. <laughs> so, somebody's really happy with this little animation here. <laughs> Tom ponders, and ponders, and ponders. And then he came up with the most heinous reply a socially inept cat could handle. <laughs> like what? Ah, uh, very disturbing adult stuff. 
I wasn't expecting him to I was expecting him to turn me down. Oh my gosh, wait, is Tom actually trying to flirt? Ah Yeah. Care to put in some detail? It's uh I'll just say something generally 18 plus. I was just joking. Oh, whoa, what? Porn! Wait, what? <laughs> I was just joking. Oh, sh shoot. I keep doing that by accident. I keep forgetting that. Unless that, uh, what do you call it? That thing doesn't show up again. Uh, then I don't need to click again. I was just joking. You don't need to blow up. Porn! <laughs> Porn! <laughs> uh... <laughs> yup, that's an adult word, all right. Yeah. Oh, kill me. <laughs> Tom hops off the sofa, stretches his back, and puts on his pants. <laughs> Guess I'll be heading out now. Don't want to bother the man of the house with his night. But thanks for fixing up my pants. It's the manliest thing to do. Uh, don't forget your meat. Oh, right. Got it. He shakes the bag of meat and places it in his bag. Ah, uh, forgot something. What's that? Huh? Ah! Whoa! Ho! 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 Ha! Wait, hold on! Huh? What? Hold! Hate! Hold on! Everybody, pause! Hold it! Hold everything! Stop! Ah! <laughs> no, that's so cute! I can't! No! Ah! <laughs> what the heck? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> what? Where was this coming from? I thought it was gonna be a hug. <clears throat> just, just cashing in. It's a, he shows you the confis confiscated dollar. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Jeez, um, my knees, um. He ran out the door before you could react, and already you hear the gate bang, clo the gate bang closed. <laughs> oh! I can't remember what I was going to say. I was going to say something, like, uh, uh, like... I thought I was going to go in for a hug. Wow. I didn't think Tom had it in him. Wednesday, 2.53 a.m. Wait, you can't sleep? Hmm? Wait, what? Waking up from the movement of the earth, you feel the house shaking your bed side to side. Wait a second. Earthquake? <gasps> no way! Not this again. Not this again! You wait for the quake to pass, listening to any cracks or expected rumbling. No, not... Then it stops. All goes silent. Not a chirp from the crickets. Not a creak from the door. Not even the hoot from an owl. Uh, if you guys have been following along, I think we all know where this is going. Do I just skip this part? Guess it's over. What is happening? What? Ugh, can't sleep. You decided to head down to the kitchen and find something to eat. Opening the fridge, you find a bunch of baby vegetables waiting to be eaten. Oh, jeez. Mm, not up for eating baby sacrifices. <laughs> Feeling groggy from the adrenaline coursing through your veins, you decide to take a seat in the living room, thinking about what to do while bathing in the moonlight. It sure is bright tonight. It's almost as if someone turned up. The brightness. Sorry, my bad. Let me turn that back down. <sighs> this is so weird. I might call it. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to skip this or not because I don't even know if it's going to, if, if this means I'm caught up with this then. We'll see. Is it morning already? Ah! <sighs>
I guess technically this is while these same events are unfolding, it is technically like a different, I don't know, reality. So it's not the exact, it's theoretically not the exact same events unfolding in the exact same way. But it's still 3 o'clock, huh? Ah, did I oversleep? Huh, that's odd. The room looks so different. And barely any color. A strange, staticky, reverberating voice echoes out from the walls. Huh? Hmm? Peasant! Peasant! Uh, hello? Cower in fear, mortal! Your special mug that you won from a spin the wheel at the mall is shaking in midair. Ha! Ah, what the fu- Ooh! <laughs> Jeez. That. Done, you done. <laughs> oh, are you not afraid? I would have been until you started making weird ghost sounds. But preposterous! I've been doing this scheme for over 20 years. Peasants cower and tremble from this. Wow, you need new material then. Now get out of my house! It can't be! I've been looking forward to scaring the living! Uh-huh. Get out! G give me that back before you break it! It's my favorite mug! You snatch the cup from the air and wave your hand around it, checking for the string. Huh? To your surprise, there was no string attached. Uh, he must have detached it when I snatched it away. Who are you to command, peasant? I demand to see your lord. Uh, why don't you show yourself so you can? Uh, why don't you show yourself so I can hit you with this book, Karen? My name is not Karen. I uh, don't care. I'm calling the police if you don't get out of here. Jesus, so weird. My time is gonna go off soon, but I'm just gonna finish this and see where it goes. I'm gonna pause that. Ha! Huh. Call the militia. I will show them the power of a magus. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that word right. And so you did. <laughs> what? What are you doing with that object on your ear? Nine one one. What's your emergency? A weird magician broke into my house and is playing a prank on me. W weird. Hello. 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 Do you need assistance? Yes, I need assistance. Hello? Ow! Oh, son of a bi- The call disconnects right after you hear the operator th Oh, I, <laughs> I keep- I did the- I did a guy voice again. <laughs> I hear the operator throw her headset away. Ah, oh, son of a bi- <laughs> Hmm? He looked down at the phone wondering why the operator screamed in pain. You dialed again. 911, what's your emergency? Yo! <laughs> Same thing happened. This time it sounded like the operator's headset shocked him. Oh, it was a guy this time. Dang it! <laughs> Why do I like that kept happening? It really is- History really is repeating itself. Huh? Where's your reinforcements now, peasant? Uh, what did you do to the phones? What in God's name is a phone? Oh, stop it with that stupid D&D &D medieval accent! I don't know what you did to the walls or the phone, but I'm not playing around. Do not mock me, peasant. Ah! What the hell? A fiery blue ball of flame erupt appeared out of nowhere. I do not tolerate false accusation. Y you're a real ghost. How dare you? I am no mere ghost. I am... Where are you going? 
He started running to the stairs as soon as the demon starts monologuing, fearing that it'll kill you once he finishes like every villain in the movie. He starts monologuing. He starts monologuing. Lost such insolence. Ah! Without much thought, you hop over the rails and bolt for the kitchen. But it was too late. Another fireball blocks your path. Not only have I not been given the proper respect, but a peasant dare to call an army against me. But, but please, why are you doing this? To teach you a lesson and to tell your master that if he does not meet my demands, well, I will burn this castle down and let it... Uh. I will burn this castle down and the land it... Uh. Just a second. Come on. A little more. So, how's the weather? You rush to the altar and grab the second holiest weapon at your disposal. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I command you to leave at once! You dare command! The room begins to shake once more, but this time the room started shifting from gray to color. Ugh. It's actually working? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I command you to leave this place at once! Woohoo! I did it! I cast the demon out of my house! You place the holy relic back at the altar and give a small prayer of thanks. Thank you, Lord, for driving the evil away. And I'll forgive you for the time you sent the rats on my pet chicken. I still don't think I get that reference. <laughs> Amen. Well, that was a weird night. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess. Hmm? A knock on the door and you see color shifting from red to blue behind the door. Scurrying to the people, you find a familiar golden Labrador and a German Shepherd policeman waiting outside by the door. The police? Why are they here? Looking around the room, you notice the telephone isn't set properly. Uh, the 911 call! W wait, how am I supposed to explain to them it was a demon who came after me? Uh, who would believe in that? This is the police. <clears throat> we received a 911 call from this address. Uh. I have to tell them something. Ah, whoo, ah, whoo. You grab the knob with shaky hands and turn it open. Th thanks for coming, officer. Are you the one who called? I yeah. Are you in trouble? N not anymore. I can't just tell them a ghost tried to threaten my life. Care to explain why you called 911 early in the morning, kid? The police... The police who's taking the police who's talking seems to be a little agitated, probably because, as he just said, it's early in the morning. Hey, you're Haley's kid, aren't you? It, yes. How do you know my mom? It's me, your uncle, your neighbor, <laughs> Uncle Butters, Uncle Peanut Butters. <laughs> what is this, a crossover episode? Don't you recognize me? <laughs> I'm kidding. The Labrador seems to brighten the mood. Unlike his serious-looking partner. Besides, peanut, Mr. Peanut Butter is a golden retriever, so it's not him. Unlike his serious-looking partner, whose judging eyes says you did something wrong to him in a past life. Sergeant Butters, this is not appropriate behavior for your rank. <laughs> bah! Bah! I know Miss Haley's kids more than anyone in the department, Officer Hans. Sir, I respectfully ask that you follow protocol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this your first time calling, son? Yes. The sergeant picks up his notepad from his back pocket and clicks his pen. All right. I'll need you to tell me your name and reason why you called 911. 
I it's Jace. Oh, that's right. You're her third kid. Oh, you've really grown. Do you really not recognize me? Sorry. But you do look familiar, sir. Sarge. Yeah, yeah. Now, Jace, here's what I need you to do. Tell me exactly what happened tonight. Mr. Grumpy here won't have to put you in jail. Sergeant Butter snickers as his partner rolls his eyes and sulks. Uh, okay. But I won't get into trouble, right? The culprit... Mm, kinda disappeared. So long as you so long as you so long as you tell me and Officer Grumpy hear the truth? No. There was a weirdo hanging around my apartment. He he was shouting something. What did he shout? I I don't know exactly what he was shouting. It sounded like he was role playing as a wizard. Was he drunk? I can't tell him he was dead. But maybe he was a drunken dead? M maybe. He scribbled, he scribbled down, down on his note. Can you describe this person? Uh, it, it was too dark to see. There wasn't, there wasn't any lights when, where he was standing. All right, last question. Phew, almost there. Do you know where he went? N no, he was gone by the time I got off the phone. Hmm, must have ran off into the forest. Probably one of those kids again. All right, we got everything we need. Uh, are you going to tell my mom? <laughs> nah, you're an adult now, aren't you? Living on your own? Where's your sisters? They're abroad now. Ah, yes. I heard from your mom that they already finished. Nursing, right? Now, you be good, okay? Y yes, uh, thanks, officer. N Butters. He ruffles your hair before leaving you alone to your own devices. That's sweet. Only all police, <laughs> law enforcement with that, you know, kind and wholesome and easy to, you know, work with. Ew. Mm. Looking at the cross, you can't help but take it with you upstairs to bed. Ah. You went back to the altar. Better take this as well. I'm so confused. Oh, wait. I, I think I remember this part, too. Burning. The sensation of burning tickling your feet. The rattling and creaking of burnt wood and metal, echo metal echoing all around you. This is... I am so lost still. You couldn't move. You couldn't even look away. Rather, you relish in the sight of burning buildings and people alike. Screams of agony and despair, cried out by men, women, and children, screaming and cursing right underneath your feet. You take the sweet pleasure from it. It's as if they sing your name in high praises. You felt a grin spreading across your face. A grin so wide and terrible that you fear a mirror would appear right in front of you. You want to stop. You want to cry. You want this nightmare to end, but you kept grinning and but you kept grinning and started to chuckle. Then it grew to a chortle. Your body writhes in joy as the city keeps burning. It was horrifying. It was cruel. Then at last you begin to laugh hysterically at the world. <laughs> <laughs> you gasp loudly, shaking the very room, feeling like your heart is about to explode. <laughs> Lungs expanding rapidly as if they started working, as if they just started working. <sighs> Lingering thoughts and feelings creeping at the edges of your mind. Horrible, detestable feelings. <laughs> then the darkness, darkness swallows it. Only but a tingle left over. It, it was just a dream. Just a dream. Just a dream. Wednesday, 4.31 a.m. Ah!
wait a second, what? On so it does continue. Okay, so it continues. Great. Um, we'll continue this next time too, I suppose. <laughs> there was a knock on the door, disturbing your ever needed sleep. And this, this, so this is so. Does that mean Macon's path is continued? Is there more for Macon? Ah, I am so confused. This is so strange. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, I need that context again. I think so, uh, somebody commented and tried to explain to me what was happening before last time this happened. So by all means, continue. But it looks like there's more than this. So, um, yeah, I'm so lost. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for watching, any, any and everybody. I hope you liked it. Um, feel free to leave a like and a comment. And again, suggestions for other games, visual novels or otherwise, I really appreciate uh, I really am trying to get to a thousand subscribers, uh, but I, again, I've said it before, and I, I think that I like how I explained that I think, uh, you know, I want to get there doing things that people like and enjoy. So if you enjoy this visual novel or have other ones that you, 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 know, you want to suggest, by all means, I'd really love to hear it. But uh, till then, you know, just take care till we see you next time. Bye now. Jeez. Uh, Turns out there are a lot of people, whole countries, who want respect, and they will pay through the nose to get it. How do you think I got rich? I invented weapons, and now I have a weapon that only I can defeat. And when I unleash it, I'll get You sly dog! You got me monologuing! I can't believe it! <laughs>